bit. Like she said, my name is Jennifer Jones. I'm going to um, tell you my experience with ARM. You're going to hear a lot more stories tonight about how ARM is touching and changing lives through home repair and children's ministry. And I'm, I'm going to try to tell you those stories, the stories you see behind the smiles, uh, you're going to see behind the smiles uh, tonight. But I'm going to tell you how I personally have seen God's love and hope spread in practical ways through ARM. As she said, I've been fortunate enough to serve with ARM from several different perspectives over its 15 years. Uh, many times as a volunteer, a couple times as, she said, construction staff during ARM's second and third summers, and most recently a chair, as chair of ARM's board. As I look upon each encounter with ARM, I am filled with hope. I volunteered on several home repair projects with ARM, often as a college student. Then again, 10 years later, as an adult, uh, a few times, seven months pregnant, a few times with a three-year-old in tow. Um, there is something addictive about serving your neighbor in the name of God. I still remember my very first mission experience. My youth group took a mission trip to Appalachia to serve with Mountain <coughs> Uh I'm sorry, it wasn't with ARM. I'm, I'm not that old. I'm a little older than that, I'm sorry. <laughs> ARM is not that old. Um, so on the first day of my first mission experience, me, a high school freshman fresh out of suburbia, uh, we arrived and we hadn't even done any work yet. And the homeowner, a big scruffy old man in overalls, came up to me and he gave me a big bear hug and he kissed me on the cheek. And I was hooked. I was hooked on serving. I was hooked on missions. Uh, there's just something about serving that, uh, about doing exactly what God has asked you to do that fills you up inside. And I'm filled with hope knowing that every year, for 15 years now, ARM has hosted and will continue to host hundreds of youth and young adults to do just that. They get a chance to be the church rather than just attend church. They get an opportunity to get out and look beyond themselves, to love other people. I think that is so important for youth and all of us. This approach to youth ministry is similar to what Jesus did with his disciples. Jesus did not teach the disciples to do ministry. He did ministry while he did ministry with the disciples while he taught them. And second, during my summers, during the summers of 1999 and 2000, flanking my senior year studying architecture at Auburn University, I served on the summer construction staff for ARM. These were ARM's second and third summers up and running, and as a ministry, we were poor. <laughs> I remember going to the hardware store and looking through their discarded lumber pile, trying to find pieces that weren't too warped or split or bowed or twisted. Or <laughs> and when we designed our wheelchair ramps and our uh, porches, we would meticulously draw every inch of it and create a, create a detailed materials list so as to not waste any wood. And I'm an environmentalist and a perfectionist, so that was kind of fun for me. And I think the construction staff these days are pretty frugal, but maybe not quite that uh, meticulous. <laughs> and I don't mean to offend any um, professors in the room, but I believe I learned as much those two summers as I, at ARM as I did earn my degree in architecture from Auburn. And I know it was the picture of me holding the hammer standing over the house I had built with my own two hands that got me my first job. And as an ARM construction staffer, I didn't learn just about construction. I learned how to really see the needs of those around you not just see a project or a category of person, but to truly listen and love with God's spirit. I, was, I still remember the theme verse from that summer at ARM, Romans 12, 19, Romans 12, 9 through 13. Love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. I didn't just teach that verse to leave that summer. I learned how to put it into practice myself. And I am filled with hope, knowing that every year, for 15 years now, ARM has equipped and will continue to equip, equip a team of young adults to do just that, to be servant leaders, to see need, and to love as God has called us to love. And... I never would have imagined, upon moving back to Auburn after being gone for more than eight years, that I would have the opportunity to serve ARM once again, this time on their board of directors. And then, lo and behold, I, I was nominated to serve as their chair. 
when you are a volunteer or a staff person out in the field, you uh, do the duty that lies nearest, to quote Oswald Chambers. You love the person that's standing right in front of you as best you can. But serving on the board, you see that there are so many people in need. How will there ever be enough volunteers, enough resources, enough time to meet each of those needs before the roof falls in, before the little girl gives up on God? This is why God created the church, the body of Christ. Because not one person or even one organization can do it. It takes the entire Christian community working together, seeing then doing in partnership. And now, after serving on arms board, I understand this. This is just as important as hugging a child or pounding a hammer. Empowering and equipping the body of Christ to lift up a neighbor in need. And once again, I am filled with hope. Because every year now, every day now, for 15 years, Arm has partnered with, empowered, and equipped, and will continue to partner with, the power, empower, and equip us, the body of Christ, to work together to serve our neighbor. Thank you, and God bless you.